Corruption. This is the agent, Aaron Bauer, along with my co-host, The Duke. We are hosting Intense TV, but not just any Intense TV. We're going big with this one. This is the, the deluxe Absolution edition of Intense TV. Duke, I, you gotta love Absolution. Of course, who else? would love Absolution more than the Duke. The Duke is Mr. Absolution. The Duke has been in all seven Absolutions. Only one. Only one in the history of AIW. From the first one to the seventh one, and I am ready to go. I've been in all seven also, so... Sorry, I mean, not as an active competitor. Exactly. Okay, okay, we got that straight. So here, we're the two guys that should be hosting this show. Good point. And you're involved in this year's Absolution. Yes, I am. Texas Bull Rope Match? That's right. That's the right. jock, he told me personally, he's bringing Conway. You know who Conway is, right? I, I, that's think, that, I, I think that's his bell, yeah. If, if that's right. He said he's yeah. going to ring your bell. That's what he told is me. That's what he said? Okay, that's well, what he said. Yet, yet more witticisms from Jock Samson. Now, I, I'm actually happy that, that he challenged me on his honeymoon, which is a whole other topic for he's another show. He's thinking about you on his honeymoon. Exactly, he likes exactly, you. exactly. So, but I am so excited that he wanted this to be a Texas Bull Rope match because eight months ago this guy comes out of nowhere literally out of nowhere from the crowd to attack me for conceivably no reason but for the last eight months it's been nothing but Jock Sampson and Cowbell every show Jock Sampson Cowbell Cowbell Jock Sampson Conway Conway's whatever the hell he calls it it's a bell that use the cows use. I, if he wants to name it, that's fine. Whatever. But now at Absolution Seven, I get to use it too because it's going to be on a rope between him and myself, tied at the wrist, and we get to beat the living hell out of each other. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Now, Duke, let me let me let me ask you a question here. You going all four corners? Is that how that's how this Texas Bull Road match works? I've done my research. You know, I got those interwebs at we, my house. We've and, never uh, had a, a, a Texas Bull Rope match in AIW. My understanding, to win, you must touch all four corners in succession. That's not a problem. Don't you, don't you think that favors somebody like Jack Sampson? I don't think Jack Sampson can count to four. <laughs> well, mighty strong words from the Duke. I think, uh, well, we've talked a little bit about the history between you two. Maybe we should check out a little history between the two of you. If you need to check it out, I lived it. I don't need to check it out. But I tell you what, everybody out there, and I, you most likely, you you have selective memory. So well, I like John Sampson. He's beaten you every time. I know. He has not beaten me every From time. From what I understand, he got Luis Diamante deported. Again, selective memory. So well, Why don't we go ahead and uh, use the newfangled AIW technology and look at those clips. It was appalling. Oh no, that's appalling right there. That's appalling right there. Now the Chad groin first across that safety barricade, and the Duke is measuring. Wait, what is? It? Oh, oh! Wait a second. Oh, that's. Is that? That's who you were. That's who you were alluding to earlier. That's Jack Sampson. But... You are the man that represents AIW and all the rest of them spot monkeys. I am sick and tired of looking all around the country and every territory from Maine to California and seeing guys doing backflips when all you gotta do is kick a guy in the teeth, punch a guy in the face, bite his nose off. Jack. Samson, what is your problem? Especially your problem with me. Clearly you have an issue with, I think it was Spot Monkeys and Flippies. Have you seen any of the AIW DVDs? I have never done any of that in my life. I took Sterling James Keenan to the limit when he was the champion here. But Jack Samson able to put the brakes on. But up and over! Oh! Over the top rope. Now that should be a disqualification it right a there. Disqualification. It that should be. An AIW that rule. should be a disqualification. You stinking virgins don't know the rules. When Bill wants heard me, there's no jumping off the top rope. Oh, yeah. They throw me over the top rope. Oh. Which is a disqualification. Bill wants. Get him on the phone! 
March 2nd is a night when Jock Sampson's ass becomes famous. He's gonna take his cowbell to the gauntlet for the gold. He's gonna bash everybody's head then. And then I'm gonna beg it down to you, Duke. I'm gonna need my freaking cowbell for you. I'm gonna take these hands of granite and I'm gonna bash your head in. The fuse is lit. The countdown to absolution begins. Gauntlet for the gold seven. But Jack Sampson, I've seen you on YouTube. I've heard you running your mouth. I don't even need to see you to hear you. Book made a scout. Jock Sampson, the Duke eliminates Jock Sampson. Now wait a minute, that's a disqualification. That I may not like you. I may not like your wrestling style. I think you're a piece of crap, but you got some balls. You have some balls getting back in the ring with Jock Sampson and Conway. Well, this isn't a spot. Jock Sampson all the way up top, looking to drop that elbow, nobody home. Now what? A choke slam? Who caught him and indeed looking for that choke slam. He plants Jock Sampson with the choke slam. Again, oh, oh, yeah, hey, you know, wait a second. Yeah, you little spot monkey dude. Oh, wait. Hey. It's a submission squad. Sampson. Why wouldn't you work with Jack? Oh, it's brilliant. Now holding the Duke for that cowbell upside the head. July 1st, Absolution, I want to challenge you, you son of a bitch, to an Appalachian bull road match. The kind where men can't walk away. One of us is going to get hurt real bad. Do you want to come in here and challenge me? Try to make a name off of me? I've been in this company for seven years. You're not the first person to do that, and you probably won't be the last. But you want to step up, put your hands on me, just be ready for what you're going to get in return. It's gonna be old school, bitch. I'm proud of you as a man and as a person that you would step up and accept this challenge to Jack Sampson's type of match, the match he made famous, the Texas Bull Rope match, and you'll do anything you can just to get your hands on him for some kind of retribution. The man has owned you. First of all, I don't know what clips you saw. He doesn't own me at all. That's back and forth. I've gotten over on him. He's gotten over on me but this is going to end it all right now. He wants to throw the challenge out. Of course I'm going to accept it. I mean, I am a man of, you know. Well, okay, okay. That notwithstanding, Jack Sampson has enlisted the help. They call themselves the, the Four Stallions, Jack Sampson and the Submission Squad. Now, now, what happens if they play a role, if they're a factor in this? I mean, have you gone out and have you hired... Your, your landscape crew to have your back like I saw you do in the past? That's racist. Oh. You're referring to the Latin crime syndicate, right? That could be, yeah. Oh, no, it's okay. We all How many landscapers you, are, you got? We are. As many as I need. But they'll be there. If the submission squad want to get involved, they're going to have a fight on their hands with the Latins. If they come anywhere near that ring, I'll brain all four of them with the damn bell if I have to. But I'm not worried about them. I'm going to focus on them. My concern is Jock Sampson. It's going to be me and him, one-on-one, -on -one, and we are going to beat the crap out of each other. Oh, I like Aaron. Now, you know two other guys that want to beat the crap out of each other? I They're think. involved in a bare-knuckle brawl. We're going back to the 1920s. Yeah, yeah, your rookie year. Bare-knuckle brawl. That's terrible. Bare-knuckle brawl, Marion Fontaine, Colin Delaney, all kind of came to a head at straight out of Compton when Colin Delaney effectively walked out on their match with Facade and Marion Fontaine, allowing Facade to get the pin on Fontaine, and something, something went a little haywire in Fontaine's head. He, he, he wasn't, didn't seem like he was content anymore to just be the megastar. So he kind of went into a little transformation, got a little training, a little mentoring, and became effectively one of the world's best bare knuckle brawlers. Said he's a real man now. I would agree with that. Well, he's gonna be facing a real man, so that's a good thing he got an extremely cute rustling real man. De Colin Delaney, boy, he, he likes to wrestle you, and, you, and entertain people. You like Colin, you talk to Colin a lot, right? Oh yeah, every day, does, I text him. Does Colin even know what he's agreed to? 
Oh, uh, well, you know, that's debatable. I, I don't want to speak for Colin. I'm not his agent. Although, if he'd like my services, especially when he goes back to World Wrestling Entertainment, I'm always available. He's got my number. We can okay, tweet each other. We don't go into business for yourself. Oh. Office doesn't like that. Mm. All right? So let's just keep what we're going here. Okay. Do you need an agent? No. But I'm anyway. Sure. I'm good. So anyway, again, do you even think he, he knows what's, what he's in for? Well, I think he does. I don't know if Marion Fontaine knows what he's in for. I saw Marion Fontaine at the JT Lightning Invitational, available now at ARWrestling.com, and he looks ready, he looks tough, he looks meaner. Let me, let me tell you, Colin Delaney fights people in a bar every night with his bare knuckles. What makes you think that, that he can't beat Marion Fontaine? Based on what I saw... I'm not sure Colin's going to be extremely cute anymore, and I know that's got to hurt you. Oh, no, no. Why? Why it's going to be a bloody mess. Uh, but what would happen to Colin? I mean, I know Fontaine could be a bloody mess, but not Colin, right? Colin Delaney will be a bloody mess after this fight. Oh, this is this is outlandish. Well, i tell you what. While you're coming to grips with that, let's let's offer the people uh, a recap. What do you, what do you want? I'm going to text Colin and see if he... Okay, well, wait till, wait, wait till we go to the footage and then text it. Oh, I have a text just, message. Just go, just, go the from Colin. just go to the footage. Just go to the footage. What a, what a way to bring that crowd down by a man losing his leg. And, oh! Now, call the lady with that crush. Hey, wait well. a second. Ho! Oh. Pedro, I can't believe... And absolution. This is this has got to be the damnedest gauntlet of the gold I've ever seen. Listen, because the rest of us have to. Do you actually listen to yourself when you saw? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I swear to God, I'm gonna have an aneurysm sitting next to you. What's uh? Okay. And if I were Eric Embry and I were working the side tonight, I'd be in the bar preparing like a real man. That's right. <laughs> right, right. So I'd be preparing to beat your face in facade, because I've had I've had a, I've had a long run here in AIW, tag stuff. Now this Marion Fontaine's getting on my nerves. So tonight, facade, it all comes out on you. Like their support oh, firm, God. Fontaine hitting the ropes. Now Delaney heading in one of his own. Oh, and I don't think there's any doubt. Whose side this crowd falls on in these two? Yeah, well, these idiots are partial here. And I'm impartial. Delaney dropping out. Fontaine talking, taking off guard. Yes, yes. The son of Delaney and Spikes is out. Delaney one, get the ring, two, get the ring. Three. Wait. It's. Did Delaney just give up on the match? See this right here? This is the Marion Fontaine that we all know and love. He's funny, enjoyable, amazing facial hair. But lately you've lost your luster. People are getting inside your head and they're getting the better of you. And I want to know what you're going to do about it. It's not that simple, man. You know, I've had a lot of personal issues and things going on lately. I'm going to go ahead and stop you right there because that's just nonsense. You're just making excuses. You need to be focused and determined in the ring. All right, it's all inside your head. Yeah, it's just that things outside the wrestling world have been dragging me down. You're not a real man. Excuse me? I think you heard what I said. You're not a real man, okay? Real men don't make excuses, and that's all you're doing. John, ease up a bit. Jeez. You don't gotta be so tough. Listen, somebody's gonna have to tell it like it is, and I guess it's gonna be me, okay? You got a big tournament coming up. I think you're going to have to train harder than you ever have before. 
train like I never have before. What does that mean? Like Pilates or something? I don't, what? Let me show you another photo. This right here? This is John L. Sullivan. The Knight of the Fives, Trip Hammer Jack, his fist of kindness, and probably the finest specimen of physical development in the world. This guy? In the world? Yes, in the world. Now he's exactly the inspiration that you need. John L. Sullivan was a real man, okay? He didn't take crap from people, he kicked it out of them. Now, are you ready to do the same? Yeah, of course I'm ready to take it to the next level. And there's only one way to do it. Montage? Montage. some rather unorthodox training methods to prepare for this matchup and it's a, it's a battle of uh, slightly different striking styles in there. I would like to say that Marion Fontaine is taking it old school but was it, this is like from the oldest school. What is this, the 20s? Up to his feet, hits that jawbreaker and oh. big left hand. That's got to be all. Two, three. Hey! Here is your Where he came from. That classic razor blade ECW logo. Once again, just taking the fight to the outside. Well, Von Fontaine, he's losing control out there. Colin Delaney's dragging the hardcore out of Marion Fontaine. Just another, like another transformation. Just like Delaney did with Tommy Dreamer back in the day. Tommy Dreamer would have been nothing without him. And hey! Whoa! He's hardcore! He's hardcore! I don't know if that's hardcore, Aaron. I don't know if that's hardcore, but that's smart. That's the second time this tournament that he's outsmarted his opponent. Colin Delaney's going under round three. And I predicted he'd be in the finals for the AIW Championship. Well, he's one of seven wrestlers he predicted would be in the finals. It's a seven-way dance, isn't it? That's what ECW was built on. Oh, wait! Fontaine! Fontaine is not happy with the outcome of that contest. Now, where's Matt Wadsworth? Because Mary Fontaine needs to be suspended for that. That's what a poor sport! That's not something you would see in ECW or the 1920s. That's something you'd see right now. Mary Fontaine just, just got thugged with it. He's gonna be bare, a bear. Have you been knuckle. hit? You been hit with a with a bare knuckle right uh, right across your chin? No, no. People don't hit me. They like me. They're not like you know. Don't you do. Don't kid yourself. Nobody likes you. But look, I'm trying to send this text message to Colin. He, do you no, even we're, know? We're doing a show. My, my autocorrect is messing with me. It says, I, "Oh, Colin, it could be a bloody mess." Oh Lord. You good? Speaking of a bloody mess. You, you ready? Okay, let's do right. this, man. I'm just. I gotta get Didn't my. Didn't mean to ruin your day, but sorry. Now this is even worse, maybe. Potentially, well, we don't know. Two, these two guys were best friends, tag team champions at one point, 
and, and they were they were in Revelation 13 together. John Thorne and Ricky Shane Page. That's, That's right, John Thorne and Ricky Shane Page. Uh, John Thorne was adamant he was not going to come back to wrestle, especially not come back and wrestle Ricky Shane Page. But he yeah. got what he wanted. Well, he was. I mean, I basically saw it unfold right in front of me in the gauntlet. Right, right. Uh, I was out there with Ricky Shane Page came out. We were both in the ring. All of a sudden, uh, one of the surprises, it was John Thorne. His music comes on. Ricky, thinking he's got an advantage now because his old tag partner we all is right there. They're throwing guys out left and right. I'm the last one left in the ring lying down. They're posing in the ring. Next thing I know, here comes a giant spike from Thorne. Spikes Ricky right in the head. There goes Ricky. And then you the guy threw, threw Thorne out, yeah. And but they continued that, on the floor. They kept fighting. And... You know, I'm worried about winning the winning the title shot, but I don't know. I, I can't honestly can't say that I wasn't confused by what I saw. But John Thorne wasn't worried about winning that title shot. No, he just wanted to bludgeon Ricky Shane Page, and why? I have no idea. We have not got to the bottom of this. Does John Thorne know what he's doing or what? I don't know. There's no stipulation for the match, so until that night, right. Thorne gets to pick the stipulation, right. right? So we don't even know what kind of match they're going to have. So uh, what do you think then? Uh, is this something that's up? Thorne sleep? Has he got something in mind? Or well, is he crazy enough that he's just going to pick it that night, two minutes before a match? He very well may not know the man's, what, what he wants to do. The man's an evil genius. I think he's got evil it all genius? in his head. I yeah. think this has been the plan from day one. That's probably true. That, but as far as what kind of match goes, I mean, you could have any, you know, you could have any, you could have an inferno match. You could do that. You could do a scaffold match. Yeah, you could, you could do an uh, empty arena match. No. Uh, no disqualification, casket match. Wow, that was creative. No disqualification, <laughs> wow. really. I got it. Really, uh, you threw good, me. Good thing, good thing you're not in charge. I'll tell you that much. You could yeah. do, you could do stretcher matches. You could do false count anywhere. You could do Russian chain. Russian chain. You fight in the ghetto since we're, we're going to be down there. Who Another knows? Another street fight. Could be. Who knows what's going to happen? But we've seen Thorne in that dog collar chain match. We have. Against wire Andrew matches. Hatred. We've seen uh, Ricky Shane Page in a uh, uh, the, the pirate match, walk the plank match. That that's right. The tables, ladders, and planks. I mean, Thorne did that too. It could be anything. Well, we know one thing. It's going to be brutal. It certainly is. And if these highlights have anything, any indication on what it's going to be? Well, this is what I was. We're going to show you what I was talking. You were probably drunk, so you weren't paying attention. But we're going to show you what I just explained happened in the gauntlet. Maybe that'll give us some kind of clue as to... Maybe it'll be a spike on a pole match. I'd like to see it again. All right, well, let's go to it. All right. And the AIW fit. Oh. Tim up and Dawson, it's Ricky Shane Page. No, 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 no. You got it right here. You got it right here. Pedro, you called it. RSP tapped out. He lift him up again, out of it, and falls with it, and then up. And he Stop it! I've been on a bit of a losing streak here. But tonight, that's gonna end. You see, I've been in a couple of these gauntlet for the goals. I've been here since day one. I know exactly what it takes to win, and I'm gonna do it tonight, because I want that absolute title. That's Ricky Shane. Am I seeing a... Hey, they used to be... Am I seeing a ghost right now? John Thorne in the ring and... And former... Former AIW Tag Team Champions, John Thorne and Ricky Shane Page are leering house. Oh, no! Oh. Is this you again, Wadsworth? Revelation 13. Revelation 13? I mean, who can forget the early days of Absolute Intense Wrestling? These two absolutely ran one shot through that. Now, wait a second. What the hell does Thorne have? Ricky Shane it's, it's some kind of metal. I don't know if it's even a spike, but he's gouging in Page's head right now. We thought they pulled a quick one on everyone, but in the end it was Thorne. Thorne pulled a quick one on Ricky Shane Page. 
Thorns are Just tell huh? me where they are. Where are they? Aaron! Uh, Aaron! What? You don't tell me what intense TV is anymore? No, I'm not gonna do know it. That, eh? Where's Thorn? Right. I need to talk to Thorn. Huh? He's not answering my phone calls. He's not answering no. anything. Are you? Where's Thorn? I have got nothing to do with on you now. Well, then who do I need to talk to? I'm just telling, man. Your office? Yeah. Your office? I talk to Where's office. Thorn? I tried talking to Wadsworth. Ricky, you gotta go. Come on, bigots. I need to talk Come to Thorn. Come on, you gotta go. This is bullshit. Why would you do what you did to Ricky Shane Page? You bloodied him. You threw him out of the gauntlet. I mean, you guys were friends. Let's hear it. That's exactly why I did it. Because we are friends. You took a 12-inch spike and you drove it in my skull because we're friends. That's not what friends do, John Thorne. We have a different type of friendship. We have a different type of relationship. We have a long, long, long history. I've known Ricky Shane Page since I was 16 years old. And tonight you're picking my opponent. I have no idea who it is. And you know what? I don't care. Because if all I have to do is beat one person to find out what your fucking problem is, I'll do it. Fireman's carry position. Unreal. And I, what, what are you talking about the strength there, Drake Younger? Well, I need to carry it. To carry Ricky Shane Page across the ring. Now, wait a second. Wait one second. What is the passion you have John Thorne coming out? Oh, I think you're, you're coming out, and I think he just brought light to. Hey, no he's rules. Barbed wire out to, to Drake Younger. Oh, he's dragging a barbed wire across his face. Just absolutely digging it into his forehead. And now Drake Younger calling for Ricky to tap. Trying to get that all into the mouth. Just ripping oh, it. Ricky Shane Page's mouth with barbed wire, and Ricky will not tap. For what? Throwing elbow. Oh, shit. And Thorne with the light tube. Right into Drake's landing. Hook of the leg. One, two, three. Right I'm trying to. Uh, now, wait a second. Ricky Shane Page. Ricky Shane Page looking for some retribution. Get out of the way! Ricky Shane Page looking for the retribution up! Down the valley driver! On to the light tubes! It's gotta be on Dream Street! Dork barely realizes oh. where he is! Chair bounced off his skull! Cover one, two, three! Haley Hatred is the real shit! That's debatable, that's debatable. Oh, it's with Thorne! Wait a second, Thorne just pulled chest Flexer now! Thorne just went after Fletcher, oh, and that roaring elbow didn't miss at all! Just drops him with a power bomb. And now floating over into the Cloverleaf! Center of the ring! No chest Flexer to save him, and Flip Kendrick taps out! Are you sure it wasn't Ricky? That's a first win for Ricky Shapin. He's got to thank John Thorne. I don't. Well, and he's realizing just that Thorne on the stage applauding for him. And how? Well, the, they're friends, Mr. Wadsworth. I told you, John Thorne never lies. That's his friend, Ricky Shane Page. How in Ricky Shane's Page's head is John Thorne at this moment? Page has no idea what to expect from him anymore. Well, Ricky, it is, uh, it's is—it's been a pleasure to have you on. Hopefully we can have you on again sometime to talk about AIW and everything else. Yep. But for right now, why don't you go ahead and plug your Twitter, your Facebook, and anything else you would like to plug? Well, I'm on Twitter, at Ricky Shane Page. Uh, Absolution is coming up, and I actually have a little bit of information to give you a, an exclusive, if you will. I just got off the phone with Matt Wadsworth before you called me, and John Thorne has signed the contract for us to wrestle at Absolution, but the stipulation is that he gets to pick what kind of match it is, and I'm not going to know what it is until that day, and neither will the same. I think in the end, he'll understand why I did what I did. He might not understand right now, but 
I think maybe maybe he even does understand why I did it. I'm not afraid. It'll be all right. intense and speaking of intense the intense division championship will be on the line you're getting, you're getting good at this yeah, you're gonna tie all this stuff together that's, that's <laughs> that that could be a little pat on the back for you there you go <laughs> yeah. and it's true the intense division title bobby beverly bj whitmer bobby does the uh don't do that i'm telling you you did it to me the last time and i still have nightmares about it <laughs> bobby beverly the Intense Division Champion, the Master of the Thrust. We just lost all of the viewership that we had. I think some people liked it. Uh, and he'll be defending that championship against the number one contender... B.J. Whitmer. B.J. Whitmer, that's right. This, this feud has been escalating since, since the AIW United Front... Stepped up against Flexor Industries. You just went to air quotes? Yeah, that did it. Wow. All right. Basically, B.J. Whitmer, who pretty much exploded back onto the wrestling scene at last year's Invitational Tournament and has been mowing through the competition here, was part of the united front, as you put it, mm -hmm. against Flexor Industries. And this, kinda, this thing with him and Bobby has kind of been bubbling over, if you will. Hasn't really... Didn't really get to a head until oh. straight out of Compton. Uh, yeah, no yeah. pun intended uh, by getting to a head when Bobby Beverly literally busted B.J. Whitmer wide open with a beer bottle. Yeah, right across the back of that. And then, not only did he bust him wide open, but then he pinned him. Well, he pinned him. He said, here, you want to be number one contender? I'll pin you. And he pinned him. And that's what he did. B.J. Whitmer was borderline unconscious at that point. Mm -hmm. So, well, B.J. you could have pinned him. You could have pinned him at that point. Anyway, you could be number one. Be, well, then BJ had no comeback for Bobby. No comeback. Yeah. Right. What do you mean? Well, the, unless you're talking about that time that BJ pinned Bobby in the tournament. But that, well, yeah. Well, really well, let, let's talk about that. Non-title. Let's talk about that. Well, you would have thought perhaps BJ Whitmer got a, a, a piece of revenge against Bobby. Maybe this thing had calmed down, but clearly Bobby couldn't handle it. He comes back out it, during the championship match, hits. BJ again with a belt this time and cost him his chance at the, at the absolute title. Well, Bobby, I mean, it, if he hadn't lost to BJ Whitmer, he would have won that match. If he hadn't lost, this, this is the logic train I'm not following right now. Okay. If he would have beaten BJ, then he would have had to beat a whole bunch of other more guys to win, so how do you know he would have won? No, I, uh, Bobby Beverly goes in with all the momentum. Exactly. He to does. Absolution it's, 7 to turn it's, it's, back the challenge of one B.J. Whitmer. I love B.J.'s story. He's a nice yeah, guy. He's cool a nice dude. Guy. But he's not Bobby Beverly material. Have you ever seen B.J. do the thrust? I haven't, but you could probably ask I the haven't ladies either. around. He probably uh, didn't know. even know how to do the thrust. How can you expect to be a number one contender and then think you're going to win that championship title? Luckily... I don't judge the quality of a wrestler by his ability to thrust. Oh. Unfortunately, you do. Well, yeah, that's how you become intense division champion. By thrusting. Yes. By it for so, Bobby. So, so you are in charge of the intense championship then, because apparently you like it when dudes thrust and you give them oh. the belt. I like it when they thrust, but I not everybody can thrust. Yeah, you need Dude, a shovel to get out of this hole is, I'm putting you in. Or, or, we're talking Absolution 7. We are and, talking Absolution 7. You're talking about men thrusting. Well, do you got, do you got clips we could go to? Of Bobby thrusting? No, I don't have clips. What about a BJ? I have Bobby a BJ of trying BJ? to thrust. No, you got clips of BJ thrusting. No, what do you think this is? Oh, you've been holding out on me. I gotta see. I it. don't have clips of anyone thrusting. Okay. Oh. I have. Do you want wrestling? No. Oh. I have wrestling clips of BJ and Bobby. That's going to explain to you why they're fighting each other. Not that they're thrusting on each other. They're not in a bathhouse. They're not lotioning each other up. They're not doing anything <laughs> freaky. All right. Now stop it. Imagine what it'd be like. Uh, just go, go, just go, before this gets any worse. No, no, no. Whitmer, Whitmer looking to elevate Bobby Beverly now standing switch. Heading to the ropes, Whitmer rolls through. 
And oh shit, what was that? It was a, a glass of some poor man. Uh, it bottle. was a beer bottle. Two, three, hey! Bobby Beverly just coming up with a beer bottle or glass or something. Bobby Beverly just pinned BJ Whitmer. You heard it right. And not only that, but Flexor Industries, who I said were the real united front of AIW, has just beaten Tim Dunn, Johnny Gargano, and BJ Whitmer. Deal with it. Well, indeed, as much as I hate to say it, and as bad as the words taste, Flexor Industries absolutely victorious in this Compton Street fight. Where are we at now, Wadsworth? Where are we at now? Flexor Industries on the rise. Stock is risen. That bottle to the head. And now, now they're going to have Allison K as the new women's champion come next week. Well, indeed, it'll be Allison K, also a representative of Flexor Industries, going one on one with Mia Yim in that no holds barred, no disqualification grudge match rematch. And Gargano just in disbelief. Talking to Jay Clements, trying to find out what it is exactly that happened. As Flaxter Industries. Hey, what happened is the victory. You lost, Gargano. Suck it up and accept it. Well, Wadsworth, the most tremendous event I've ever been a part of. Thank you. Well, indeed, Aaron, from top to bottom, it definitely lived up to all the hype and exactly everything we per we expected. 2012 just continues to get bigger and better for Absolute Intense Wrestling, although it's not the best ending for AIW. And all around great showing from everyone. And Johnny Gargano still going on to Absolution with that absolute title shot coming. So we have some, some medical personnel out here to check on B.J. Whitmer. Hey, Whitmer won't even be the first guy to go to the hospital tonight. This has been the most intense night of AIW. Indeed. In history. We've seen quite a few competitors lay their bodies on the line. We've heard that Sugar Dunkerton went to the hospital with most likely a broken arm after that four-way earlier tonight. And I'm sure quite a few of our other competitors yeah, Duke. I'm now telling you. The show is getting better and better oh, and better every time. This you look is going to be it. the best one. This is. Uh, you got to be excited. I'm excited. I'm, 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 I'm excited I'm too. Of course, I'm excited. We agree. We're both excited. I'm not snacking TVs over and things. Just don't start thrusting. Woo! So I tell you what we're going to do because we're getting we're getting close to the end here. You know, this mm -hmm. has been a ball hanging out with you. I got things to do, so we're going to run down the entire card okay. right now. Let's do it. And. I'm not even going to have to do this after we run the card, so I'm going to do it now. Because after you hear the card, you're going to run right out to your computer. You're going to go to AIWrestling.com. You're going to get yourself some tickets because this show is going to be crazy. Yes, it is. We got people uh, coming from all over the place. Uh, we show. got people from, from England. We got people from Texas. We got people from, from Arizona. We got people from Philadelphia. Our good friends, Mike, Mike and Tom. My good friends from Mike and Tom Presents. Media. Media credentials <laughs> needed for Mike and Tom to come to this show. That's right. It's going to be crazy. Oh, I love it. So let's just go right down right down the list. As we just saw. Give you all the matches. As we just saw, intense title, Bobby Beverly, BJ Whitmer. I love it. Right. I love it. Not only that, but... But these two teams have not faced each other in years. Oh, this is a, this is a new one. We have to Oh, about boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an exclusive match that you, the fans, voted on. They wanted to see it. They wanted to as the Briscoe brothers are coming in. And, and, and they're going to face... Talk about... They're facing the Irish Air Burma. Yes, they are. Talk about not knowing what to expect oh. out of a match. Mm. I, I've, I've obviously... Been on shows with the with the Irish Airborne. I've seen the Briscoe Brothers. This has the potential to just explode right in the middle of the ring, and you're going to want to be there to see it because it's going to be crazy. People are buying tickets right now. Of course they, they know are. That match. Of course they are. But there's another reason to buy tickets. But wait, there's more. There's so much more. Colin Delaney, Marion Fontaine, 
bare knuckle brawl. You better take a picture in before, <laughs> before the show. Oh no! Because he's not gonna look the same when he gets done. I'm telling you. Even beyond that, we've got the match that AIW made famous, the six pack scramble match. We got Davey Vega, Drake Younger, Facade, Ethan Page. I think Archibald Peck, but I I don't know if anybody's even heard from him lately. He is, look He's at, basically falling off the face of the earth. Everybody texts me and calls me yeah. and tweets me, and but not Archibald Peck. So you're I can't not find even, him. Not even you know where. I don't know where he's at. I can't believe it. But whether he's there or not, we've got him. And then you know, well, then we've we, got the mystery the mystery uh, entrant who yeah, it's a mystery. Fish. So you know, well, Southside Sinclair's not booked yet. Oh, oh, I, I like that idea. Because people from fish, California fish, buy fish, tickets fish. just to come see a man in a, a grown man in a diaper. But not only that, you know who else could be? I, I think it might be Biggins. No. no. Okay, okay, hold on. Uh, oh, KC Blood. Gotcha, man. He's coming back. Bring out the bad boy. Yeah. Oh, it could be the bad boy. Too bad there's only one mystery spot. Well, make it an eight pack. If they're both in it, it's going to be too too many people for six. Wayne so. Palmer, the photographer, snapping pictures. It's about time Wayne, Wayne Palmer got involved in in a match. Well, uh, regardless who it's going to be, I'm sure it's going to be off the chain. And speaking of off the chain, we got the tag team championship. Hey, right. tag team cha the rematch that I've been waiting for personally. Aeroform finally gets their chance at the gold again. That was, well, robbed from them by acting president Matt Wadsworth. That's, that's one man's opinion, robbed. I would say they won it fair and square. Not Against which, who? The euthanasia. Yes, it is. Josh Pearl got an ass. M Dog 20 that. Matt Cross. Now, uh, what I don't understand is why Aeroform has waited until now to exercise their rematch clause, but I guess it's within their right. It's, hey. Don't question Arrow Form and Chess Flexor. They know what they're doing. Chess Flexor's so smart, he's brilliant. Okay. Hey, hey, and how about the independent wrestling dream match? This is true. This one, this one is going to make wrestling purists, shall I say, wet themselves. Oh, I just peed right now. Oh, that's fabulous. Clean up. Anyway, ACH, Adam, Cole, it's ridiculous. ACH hey. has been tearing it up in AIW. 30-minute Iron Man match. He made it to the finals of the JT Lightning Invitational. Adam Cole has been tearing it up everywhere except AIW. Mm -hmm. So, in the interest of the fans and in the interest of the show, AIW management said, hmm, why don't we put these two together and just let the magic happen? It had to happen. It had to happen. Both their paths led right to Turner's Hall. On July 1st, Absolution 7. And, th and we're not even done. We're still not I know done. you're ordering tickets right now. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Oh, oh. No, no, no. Don't wait. Go ahead. Yeah, no, we'll sorry, wait. Sorry. We'll wait. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, even more than that, <laughs> we've got Ricky Shane Page, John Thorne in a... John Thorne makes a stipulations night, match. <laughs> in a bell time stipulation. <laughs> so crazy. So, again, we've already covered that. We don't know what that stipulation could be. All we know is the way he thinks he's got something wacky cooked up. Hey, dude, don't forget about yourself. I didn't want to bring it up. But uh, I do. Since you brought it up, that's true. Oh, so it's me, Jock Sampson, Texas Bull Rope match. The beatings will begin as soon as that bell rings. And Cow bell. Will, they will not stop until I go around the ring and touch all four corners. So, Jock Sampson, just get ready because your day is about to come due. Hey, I think Jock Sampson's been ready. I mean, he was thinking about you on his honeymoon. That's where he made a challenge from. I'm not sure how to take that. Hey, take it any way you want, but... Well, I'm going to take it to him. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah. And I, is that it? I think that's it, right? It could be all... It's, it's eight, eight ridiculously awesome matches. I, that, that, that's good. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I have it on good authority that Veronica Ticklefeather told me and tweeted that she's going to be an absolution. She is. I don't know what for. Why? Well, uh, she doesn't want you to know, that's for sure. Okay. I think, so uh, we'll see about that. And also, on July 1st, do you know what time it's going to be? Oh. I hope it's Vader time. Nope. Even better. It's Veda time. Oh, Veda Scott has tweeted that she is going to be at Absolution Turner's Hall July 1st, so I know I'm going to be there. Okay, <laughs> that's that's cool. I don't you, know what you, she wants. You she you always out. wants something from somebody. Much like, much like your man crush on Colin Delaney, everyone knows I have a little bit of a man crush on Vader. 
And I'm disappointed. Well, I got a woman hand crush on Vader. I'm disappointed. In hey, but that's not all. We do have one more thing. We do? One more match. One. The big one. One more match. Sorry. The one for all the marbles. There's marbles? I thought it was for the absolute title. You're right. For the absolute championship. It is the winner of the Hell on Earth title shot in the four-way match, Tim Effin Donst, against the winner of the title shot for winning the gauntlet for the gold match, the mystery. He came out as a mystery. His name is Johnny Gargano. And they're going against the absolute champion, the man who hasn't lost in over two years, the man who beat five other people in the JT Lightning Invitational Tournament to win the championship. That's Eric Ryan. That is Eric Ryan. <laughs> and this, this is without question the main event of this show. This show has gimmicks. It has, it'll have blood. It'll have beatings. It'll have brutality. This match has none of that. This match is three of the best wrestlers today going at it for the biggest prize in AIW. And I don't think, for my money, you could ask for a better main event. It's the main event of the show. It's the main event of the year. It's the main event of AIW's calendar year. This is Absolution. Absolution 7. We're talking July 1st, Turner's Hall, downtown Cleveland. It is. It, this card we just ran down could quite possibly be the best show we have ever put on. And I, I don't think that's a reach to say that. I and what more can we say about Gargano, Donst, and Ryan? Well... Actually, I don't even think I can talk anymore. I think I think the highlights are going to show it all. Well, and I think that's what we should go to. We got a montage? Oh, we got a montage, baby. Montage! <laughs> we got a montage right now of Tim Donuts, Johnny Gargano, and Eric Ryan that is going to blow you away and is going to get you ready to get on AIWrestling.com, buy tickets, and come see us. And for those of you who and want tickets, else, don't even interrupt me. I'm, I'm, buy, pardon the interruption. Exactly. Buy more tickets. Buy, bring your friends, bring your family, bring your ex-girlfriend because I'm lonely. Come to the show. It's going to be ridiculous. In closing, we will now send you... And show the them this. Show them this. Uniquely, you lost our time! You don't get out of three, that's for sure. Here is your winner, and still, AIW Absolute Heavyweight Champion, the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano! I don't think it's over yet, Pedro. It was a powder donut. Doc, Doc just took out Gargano by accident. No, he did it on purpose. I mean, that, no, that was an accident. Oh, my God. oh, it's over? Yeah. 
Of not only you've got a while, but of absolution. Tim Dawson, Johnny Gargano. Super kick by Johnny Gargano. The first donut. Oh, he nailed it. Dawson down one, two. What is this? What happened? You know, so much for your boy, Dave Dawson, calling it right down the middle, Aaron. Well, I didn't never change the spots. Oh, Dawson with the roll-up. Hey, hey, that three count. That three count. Ha! Here's your winner, two, Dawson. Oh, wait a second. Does this mean what I think it means? Oh, we got a new member. A new member of Flexo Industries. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, and I, I knew it all along. I told you, I told you, Tim Doss could always be trusted. He's a man of his word. Are you He's, saying that Tim Doss is part of Flexo Industries? Uh, oh, it's a beautiful day today. Tim Doss finally. I gotta get to ringside. He's finally made the right decision. Tim Doss. Tim Doss is now a part of Flexor Industries. Oh, and people are loving it. I'm loving it. I never had such a good time in my life calling a match. This is good. This is Tim Dunst. And he pulled the wool over on Johnny Gargano and all. Tim. <laughs> hey, congratulations. You made the right decision. Just wanted to say, just wanted to say, I'll see you in the limo. And it makes a speck out of it. Oh, oh Liger Bomb! Oh, running Liger Bomb! Oh, <laughs> there it is, Eric Ryan! Flexor <laughs> Pulling off Lewis Linden! Oh, there's Flip. Here comes Flip Kendrick. All right, the whole limo. Oh, the whole limo. again, Tim Dost pulling Flip Kendrick off. All right, Tim. Wait. Right. Hey. A super kick. You see how Gargano does Tim Dost? Oh, a super kick. Never Never coming. He's serious business now. Oh, are you kidding me? back on his feet here. Everybody that's not in Flexor Industries is blocking everybody from Flexor. No, no, no. Kick out, Dave. Oh, Don Snail Gargano. There you go. I think this is all part of the plan, Pedro. I think it's all part of the plan. One, one. You want to know where I stand? Tip Don, Flexor Industries, Johnny Gargano. Huh? Is that what you want to say? Thank you, Sanchez. I'm tempting you. Wait. We could see that pipe package pile driver here, and indeed spiked down. Oh, oh no, no getting up. How he was doing, and he told me he was at 60 percent. Grudge right he here. He said he wasn't even halfway through his recovery when Donst won last year. When Donst won, it was to win a shot at Gargano. Donst all the way up with Gargano. Dodge this down! Johnny Gargano has won the gauntlet for the goals! And all I can say is I'm coming for that absolute title and absolution! Oh! It's going for, oh my god, another second pile driver. 
And that's it. Roaring Great. elbow, Eric Ryan underneath. Wait a second, step up in Zugiri. That basement super kick, kick to the sternum, and Eric Ryan looks to be getting a second wind. And Ricky Shane Page, you have to wonder if he's what questioning at this point if he has it. One, two, three. He got it. Eric Ryan with the flurry of kicks. During and even after that match, that knee obviously messed up. Setting up again, drunk a driver this time and hits a prohibition. I think it's moving on to join Whitmer. And no, wait, one, two, three. Eric Ryan with an incredibly fast roll up. Kicking the start. Listen to the impact. His shits, his feet are hitting. Super God. kick. And now setting up, setting up for the pick. It's pile driver the second time. Second pick, it's pile driver center of the ring. One, two, three.